So in this video, we will learn how to install PyTorch with CUDA, right? So first thing we have to do is let's go to our command prompt or let's open Anaconda. If you guys are using Anaconda, we can go to you can uh, go ahead and uh, start with Anaconda prompt or you can also go ahead and use a command prompt. Right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check if we have Python installed in our system. So all we have to do is Python and then version. Uh, so as you can see, we have our Python installed. But in case you don't have Python installed, so all you have to do is go to python.org and you can easily download Python over here click on this and then you just have to install it I already have it installed so I'm getting these options but if you don't have it installed already you will get uh, an install option and you just have to follow the steps which are very simple and that's how you can install Py Python so, so I'm going to use Anaconda prompt to install PyTorch so So as you can see, we also have PIP installed. So before installing PyTorch, we need Python and PIP commands in our system installed previously, right? So we have PIP and we checked earlier, we have Python as well, right? So now in order to install PyTorch, all we have to do is type PyTorch dot org and you uh, all you have to do is select stable here select your os minus windows so i have selected windows here you can select your pack so usually pip is recommended over conda even if you're using an anaconda environment right my language will be python and i will select 12.1 cuda so what CUDA does is basically whenever we perform any complex operations in Tensor, basically in PyTorch, we do it, we usually do it on CPU. But if the calculations are really complex and really large, we need a faster computation system which is available on our GPU. So this GPU can be accessed uh, using CUDA, which is an NVIDIA uh, product. So this allows us to perform our operations faster on our GPU. So we can install it using this command. All we have to do is copy it and I'll paste it on my Anaconda prompt. You can see my requirement is already satisfied because I had already installed Torch, right? So let's go ahead and go to our Python environment. let's try and import torch over here it's taking a while there so it's imported successfully right let's go ahead and perform some operation maybe let's create a tensor right so this is how you can create a tensor okay so i made an made an error of my brackets here so here so our tensor is created successfully See, let's try and see if we have CUDA available on our system. So we can do that with a simple command using CUDA dot is underscore available and then parenthesis. So it is false here. Now basically, so in order to use CUDA on our system, we need to have an NVIDIA GPU card, right? So uh, just because my system doesn't have it, so we cannot use uh, CUDA over here. In case your system does, so after this command, you should get a true over here. So if you get true, that means you are good to go with uh, CUDA on your GPU, right? But for users uh, that do not have an NVIDIA GPU card on their system, all they have to do is go to Google Collab. create a new notebook 
right so we'll go ahead and import torch so that now let's see if cuda is available false right so any uh, by default we will not get uh, our executions run on gpu so in order to get all our calculations to be computed on our gpu all we have to do is click on change runtime type and select t4 gpu and click on okay click on save and then run it again so now you can see it's true over here that means so this basically means that now our calculations can be performed on gpu instead of our cpu right so for all those who do not have an nvidia gpu card can perform can access cuda using google collab and changing the runtime type right so thank you that is all if you've liked the video please hit the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel see you in the next video